Hey guys, Zerk. Right. This is Samantha. I'm John. It's Samantha. <laughs> She's so thrilled. <laughs> hey, we are DNA Manager and Board Games, so tonight we are going to show you Throw Throw Burrito! We are going to do an inst instructional video. John's going to explain how to play the game, and then we're going to play. That's right. So, you know, this is something that, I don't know if we've ever shot a instructional video on nope, a nope, game nope, such as this, really. because I think this is the only game <laughs> like this. Um, so this is a, a very easy game to pick up, and he's going to hit somebody with this nice burrito here. Um, what you can see on the cameras there is we already have the board kind of set up here, the table. Um, we've got our burrito bruises are the pieces right here, and we're going to explain that in just a minute. We've got a community draw pile gonna get to that in a second and you see we've got four areas around here though that's everybody's individual draw sections so what we're gonna do draw real fast section. is just try to show everyone a couple of the cards so you have an understanding um, so throughout your cards as you go in there's gonna be different characters this happens to be black male whale black, black male, male whale, whale. so if you have three of a kind of any of the cards you're able to place them down for a point. We also have, so everyone's looking here, two colored burrito brawl cards. There's a green and a pink. Ooh, brawl. Now what let, does it do? Now let me clarify that we are playing with the Kickstarter edition. So if you have the regular edition and you are wondering, why do I not have Blackmail Whale and some differences? That's the slight difference. We decided to play with the Kickstarter edition. All right, so these are the Burrito Brawl cards. So with a Brawl, since we're going to go step by step here, if you have three of a kind, right? We're going for mm -hmm. three of a kind. Mm -hmm. If you have three of a kind of Brawl. green, not a mixture, you could put your three of a kind down and you would say Brawl, Burrito Brawl. Now what happens with a Brawl is is the two people on either side, side of you they side of you side of him yeah so it would be side you two him, now are trying to grab the burrito and throw it at each other the first person <laughs> to get hit has Lose to take a, point. a burrito bruise which is a loss of points now the game consists of two rounds the rounds end when the burrito bruises are used up the bruises are Basically, any time you get hit by a burrito. So now, they have two player, two player variants. Your um, burrito bruise. Yeah. There's other versions of it. but So, now I gave you just a little bit there. Out on So, right now, what we have set up here, like we were talking about, the piles, what you do is you shuffle the cards up. You deal out 15 cards or thereabouts. It doesn't have to be 15. 15 cards are in each individual draw pile. Then everybody will draw... Go ahead and put those back in. Everyone will draw five cards. Are they going back in here? Yeah, you can just okay. go in there. So randomly. we're going to get draw five you will take, cards. Everyone will take five cards. That's going to be your hand. Now, your hand consists of no more than five cards. Wait, I don't have a hand. Huh, huh. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. Uno, dos, so, tres, cuatro, cinco. cinco. So when you have, you have your cards, you're looking at it, you're looking for a match. So, for the purposes of this demonstration, let's say we started the game, all right? The, the play on this, it's not like your normal game in which you're going in turns. Everybody's playing at the same time. And by the same time, I mean everything's going crazy. So, when we, so we would start out, one of us would go 3-2-1 burrito. We would start there. If you had a match, you could throw it down. Like, for instance, if I had a match right here, I'd, throw, I'd put my three down. They'd be face up. But I'd put my three cards down. And guess what? I only have two there. That means I'm going to draw from my draw pile three cards to be back up there. But if I don't have a match, what do I do? I'm passing a card over to the person to your left, their draw pile. And it doesn't have to go back and be exact. You can just set it right over there, and then I'll draw one card. That's how the cards move around between players. It's pretty easy. Cards move around. You get different cards coming in. So wait a minute. Let me get this up. straight. The card I don't want... I discard to her draw pile. Yeah. And it's just one at a time. 
one it's just card. it's one at a card one, one at a time, time because that was that's going to be right. you weren't able to play anything so you're just pushing something over so if you had two and two and you're like oh well you know what i've got a, a black male whale i'm going to put that over there and hope that the next time and the next one oh i drew it okay i got my match and you're just going to keep going with that but remember as we come across to our brawl we talked about <laughs> there's also the war. a burrito war now burrito war can come two different ways and this is i'm gonna explain it to you with this excitement right sam all right Yay, here we go the war. all right <laughs> she's excited folks um so with the if you have the the war and you you put it down you burrito war everybody else so be the other three people here they're going to be involved in the war i'm not involved in the war if i called it or whoever calls it is not involved in it and the first person to get hit is the first person that gets a burrito bruise and then we would stop that would be the end of that war and then we would we would but start the game again we go three two on burrito now i only said one way there i said there were two ways right well wait a minute i got a question on oh one yes way. yes Ask. so Obviously, we're going for sets of three, so we would have to have three of those Burrito War cards yes. and put it down and on just step back and yell Burrito War as we step back. But what's the other way? The other way is because we're all playing at the same time, if two of us said say. two brawls at the same time or two of any other fighting at the same time equals an all-out war, then everybody's in it. So that means you would have to be trying to do this so shouldn't we have more <laughs> hey out? so my question is when this well, is getting you thrown, could you could have more so my question is when this is getting thrown at you can you duck <laughs> yes you can duck you can oh. run you can <laughs> delay the only thing you can't do is you can't smack it off the table <laughs> but if you catch it like that even a wobble guess what by catching it he that counts you. as he gets the hit or the bruise. So if you catch, it's like dodgeball. You know, if someone threw the ball over to you, you caught it, you're out. So, so in other words, if you could catch a wrench, you could catch a burrito. That's right. That's right. Um, all right. So that that's how uh, we set up for the the. We did the ball. Hey, so we the question. War, but we've got another one. Go ahead, Mister Question. Question. So I'm drawing out of my thing as I'm passing dump. I'm dumping cards off if I haven't got sets. What happens when this set runs out? Well, guess what. Remember, she's putting cards there, but if it were to run out, that's why we have the community piles. So at the community pile, if you are not able to draw from your draw pile, it's okay. Draw from the community pile until you have cards able to draw. You do, you have to go back so to your draw So I have to pull if I have cards, but if I don't have cards, I can go from the community piles. That is correct. How is that? That is insane, folks! <laughs> insane. And, and again, guys, I mean, your rules are this this much easily messed up by a person such as myself and there's probably a few things that i may have left out for you but um i did mention that there were the two rounds so once all the burrito bruises are given out for the six that's the end of that round and when the end of that round is over the person that has the highest points gets the fear me so basically it's like gin rummy Get the points without the bruises. <laughs> yes. Now, now, if I have to, if I have to brawl with her, can I shove her against the wall to grab a burrito? There's no rule, but that is there. I don't think it's whoever so. gets the burrito first, right? But I think that's so. Or is the brawl? <laughs> is the brawl the one we have to do the three paces away from each other? So, well, we were gonna. We still. That's we're, a, we're gonna get into. The that duel. is the duel. No, I those still are have the to duels. go back. That's but since duel. you said that, I want to make sure that we do this very clearly for your battle rules. <laughs> and yes, folks, I pulled it out, so it's in black and white. We don't want to have an all-out war on camera, so I'm just going to stick to the script here. You can, very specific. You can duck, so you could jump you under can the dodge, table. You can you dodge. You can dodge. You can use other objects or other players as a shield. I shall use you, the daughter! You can use the burrito to shield or deflect a burrito thrown at you. You can run, hide, and delay before firing in your duel. But you can't hold more than one burrito at a time. You cannot block another player from picking up a burrito. You can't slap a burrito off the table. You cannot. Or toward 
um, a player. Like it couldn't be a war and I just smack it like that and you try to get you. You have to be nice about that. You gotta pick it up and throw it. Right. So remember, if you because this is throw throw burrito. burrito. All right. Um, let me see. So what we didn't walk over, which everybody loves, is the dual part. So who, so who has watched a western movie? Uh, I know I have, and probably everybody, right? So you know you're sitting there at high noon and you're pulling on that. Well, we're actually doing the pace off. So you get your burrito, each person. You stand back to back. Okay. You're not back to back with John. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just you, and you. Doesn't matter how you hold it. Three, two. While you're saying it, you're taking a step. One. Burrito. When you say burrito, you try to hit the other person. So that has to be said at the same time. Yeah. Burrito. Three, is two, third. one. Burrito. And we have set that area as the duel. This is the designated duel area, folks. So. Because we want like you long. guys at home to see it on the cameras. <laughs> All right. Well, those are baby steps for the duel, though. All right. So we've gone through uh, everything there. Again, if you make a mistake on there, it is, it's really not that significant on going through. Uh, when it gets to the point, when you want to track your points, the only difference that you have with your cards that you play down here are your Duels, wars, battle cards are worth two points. Your animal matches are worth one point. So the more you get of those, the higher score. The highest score, like we said, gets the fear me. When you end the second round after the bruises have been put back and issued out again the second time, does anyone have an idea how you may settle a tie for the highest score? A burrito duel? It's it! It's a burrito duel! <laughs> Winner wins all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, do we have a house rule on how to throw this? Can we have it like face down? <laughs> well, I suppose that anyone playing could have, have house rules. Down. <laughs> they may want to throw. Was that, they may want to throw real burritos. Was that the? Was that all the rules? That's all that I'm, we're gonna. Yeah, are so those the rules, John? Those are the rules. You are at liber so, liberty to do. See? So all yeah. we gotta say then is three, two, two. one, burrito! <laughs>